43, the plant assets and depreciation. Okay, this chapter is made of three sections. We're going to be doing uh, the first section, which is called plant assets and equipment. So we have the next chapter, with our section will be calculating the depreciation. And then the last one, we're going to be doing accounting for depreciation expense at the end of the year. Okay, so now the first section is going to be about plant assets and equipment. Now remember, assets are uh, what the company owns, uh, from land to equipment to cash, uh, account receivables and all that. But this, this chapter, we're going to be talking about equipment mainly. Okay, so because the equipment have depreciation on them, what does a depreciation mean? You know, when you buy something, usually the value of it goes down. So for tax purposes, we use depreciation to discount uh, from the, uh, our profit here. Uh, so that we don't have to pay tax uh, on a full amount of profit. So if I have, a, 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 let's say, for example, an equipment that I bought for $10,000, I could depreciate it on a, on a five years uh, kind of um, expenses. So that means every year I could depreciate like $2,000, all right? So I could reduce that from the, my profit. So I'll pay less taxes on it. And there's something called disp uh, disposal value. So if every equipment or a car, it when it reaches its the last the last year of its depreciation, it might have a disposal uh, value. That means I could sell it for that amount if I want. It's not a must, but that's how it works. Now the calculation works this way: you take the original price and then you 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 subtract the estimated uh, disposal of the value of the car and you're gonna get 15,000, then you, do, you decided uh, to, 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 to do it on a five-year kind of uh, life, uh, useful life. So you divide 15,000 over five, that means you could uh, depreciate 3,000 per year. Okay, so that's how the calculation works. That's the second section. The third section, when we do the actual accounting here, so we're talking about the building depreciation value, it shows how much in the amount, for example, is going to be depreciated up to, the, to this date. We can use the expense account. So when we do the journals, we could use our expense account. Uh, let's see if they have, they have an example of a journal here. Yes, here. So you can see that the delivery expense is 16,500. Uh, the accumulated depreciation has already been 6,000. So, and this is the trial balance, right? So you can see that. And uh, here they're going to show us, hopefully, uh, the, the journal, let's see if there's a journal here. Sometimes they will probably, you know, just you're going to go directly to the, the financial statements. And oh, here you, you can see that I said you, they have to show that. So you can see that depreciation expense here has been 3000 2500 So a total of $5,500 uh, that's going to be going uh, toward the debit for the income, sta income summary. Uh, and uh, that will be it. That's that will be the end of this chapter. Uh, it's more interesting when you when we start working on it in the class. So we'll see you guys later. Bye bye.